Hi, we're back for another Wildlife Wednesday here at Oxbow Park in Zolman Zoo. My name is Clarissa, one of the naturalists here, and today we're going to be talking about a wild bird that we see at our feeders very frequently, and that is the black-capped chickadee. Now these chickadees are a small little bird, and they're mostly black and white, and the name denotes that they have a black cap, so they have black on top of their head, and then they also have black under their chin, but otherwise they have white that goes back, the rest of their body is more of a grayish color with some buff kind of by the wings, but otherwise they have a pretty light underside. The black cat chickadees can be seen often coming to feeders. They feed on seeds and then some insects too in the summertime and a couple fruits and nuts as well. But if you look behind me, these are their favorite feeders. They like to go to those window feeders. It's a platform feeder that they can eat from. Now the black capped chickadee is one that we see here all time of the year. So they don't migrate, they live here. That means they live in the cold of winter and they live in the heat of summer. So they're very much like us Minnesotans that they can handle all types of weather. And they make one of the coolest calls ever. It is how they actually got their name because their call goes chickadee dee dee dee. And then sometimes they'll do the beep, 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 beep. And those are common calls. Now in springtime, we're starting to hear more of those common calls from them as well. Black-capped chickadees are known as being one of the more amicable birds, meaning they're a little more friendly or just accustomed to humans. As you can see, they are flying in and out of the feeders quite a bit here. So they are comfortable with humans to some extent. They're a fun one to see if you have feeders out because you can be close to the window and they'll still fly in and grab seeds. Black-capped chickadees can be found nesting in all different sorts of areas. Since they live all across Minnesota, they will choose lots of different areas to build their nest, typically in a cavity of some sort. So it might be in a tree that has been hollowed out, probably by something else, or they can make a little bit of an indentation in something that's already there, but they will choose a cavity to make their nest in, and they'll line it with mosses, so it has a nice little lining. They can have up to five or six small, about inch size type eggs, and they're basically white, except there's brown streaking or spotting on those eggs. So they have quite a few of those eggs at a time. And black-capped chickadees are doing well overall in the conservation status, which is always a good thing to hear. Thanks for watching another Wildlife Wednesday. 